Welcome to what is probably the final episode of my girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> there she is. Buys my Nintendo Switch accessories. The title's wrong. I mean, you are my wife, yeah. for one. Yeah. So it's probably good we, we finally put mm. this series to rest. But two, I buy them now. The reason why it's probably the last one is because, I mean, I don't know. This is like the last year of the Switch. Yeah, that's fair. I was actually shocked to find so many cool that's accessories. The there is actually one in here that is, I can tell you right now, hands down, going to be my favorite thing we've ever looked at as far as in these videos. You remember that knife that Bob bought me forever ago? It's broken. Oh. This is my knife now. I will say though that I have the, a really good memory. <laughs> It takes so long for the stuff to get here that by the time it gets here, I forgot what I yeah, bought. And other than the- It's like a present because you forgot. It is. Other than the one thing I'm really excited right. about. Oh no! Oh, I thought it was like the dune bucket. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> you what? thought I bought a Mario Pipe flashlight. We're ending with a bang. I, I hope mean. not. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Well, that's the video, guys. Uh, I'll see you later. We'll see him in about a week. Remember this? Yeah. My favorite thing? Yeah. Oh. It's so cool. I know. They gutted one of these. They put it into a Mario pipe. Oh, okay, okay. <gasps> oh, does it not stop? It spins so much longer than the other one. Oh, no. Dude, it spins forever! Yeah. Dude, it's not even close. It's not even a competition. He's still going! I'll have more fun with this than a f flight. That's number one. Honestly, bang, beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what happened. This is the worst one. Hey, if this one sucks, doesn't matter. It's the last one until Nintendo Switch 2. <laughs> this video is sponsored by Soylent, which is actually a new sponsor that we've never done before, which would be true if it wasn't for the fact that Kim and I did just do this sponsor and I forgot to hit record. We, these are empty. <laughs> the good news is that they were delicious. Why don't we just split one? Soylent is a complete nutrition brand with science-based take on health and wellness. So there's strawberry, vanilla, banana, cafe mocha, uh, mint chocolate, plant-based, healthy, 20 grams of protein, 39 essential nutrient meal replacement drinks. I don't know how they cracked this code. They are so creamy, so delicious, so rich. They actually polled 40,000 people against other plant-based and dairy-based brands and Soylent came out on top for quality, flavor, taste, texture, everything. We're gonna try chocolate together now. These are my shaker cups. And the Joy-Cons change color depending on what you put in there, you know? Oh, I like the chocolate one. Kim, did you know? <laughs> I'm gonna hit you with a fun fact that you've never heard before. I never heard it before. That the name of this company is based on the movie Silent Green. Soylent Green. Soylent Green from 1973, where there's a famous scene of a guy covered in blood screaming about how there's people meat in the Soylent Green. Soylent Green is people! And Soylent was like, you know what? That sounds like a good name for a company. Oh, that's good. Yeah. One of the best things about Soylent is it's affordable with all of their products for one serving ranging between two to four dollars. Go into the link down below and using code BEATEMUPS where the first 500 people, I don't think it's enough, honestly. That 500 is gonna go real quick. First 500 people will get 25% off a Soylent subscription. And the last 500 go in the next batch, so hurry. Like to be <laughs> become Soylent? Or well, be quick because otherwise you, you if you're late, <laughs> No, there's no people in it. And if there is, people taste good. <laughs> oh, this was for you. Look at it. What is it? Pink kids. Yeah. It looks cute, right? I like it. I mean, it's really cute. There's a little, like, a wooden a palette. Yeah. I mean, it's pretty obvious what you do with it. You put your Switch games in there. I thought this one was a honey pot at first. I thought it was like a Pooh Bear situation. Oh, Piglet, I want some honey. Perhaps if it was a horror movie. All right, next. Kim, where old? And we remember a time when things were better. Before LimeWire. I did not care for what you just did. <laughs> a more peaceful time. What would you do, Kim? Movies from Blockbuster. Oh baby, would you ever whisper so quietly the mic would struggle to pick that up? <laughs> but yeah, yeah. Oh. How cool is that? Oh, oh that's nice. It's so it simple. Makes me it does make me sad, it makes me yeah. It's really sad, actually. It's just an empty case. You could put whatever game you want in it, but they went with a black case, like yeah. the old. I mean, I if love you're. The logo. Did you see the Switch logo? Oh, that's I like so that. cute. And then they made like a blockbuster, made a blockbuster themed. Cover. Mm. 
And I'll cut back to this shot and how ridiculous that looks. I miss Blockbuster. Did you know there was a N64 game, Clay Fighters, that they only released it in Blockbuster as a rental. And when the Blockbusters closed down, they sold them. But because people want to collect the whole library and it's like an official thing, it's one of the most expensive games. And I had it at one point and I took it to a convention and I traded it for my Panasonic Cube. I mean, that's a good trade. That's a good trade. That's a good trade. It's a good trade. It sucks that you had it. No, you don't. I like what I have now more because I like GameCube more than N64. Yeah. Oh! I should probably get my Switch. <laughs> you ever play Croc the Legend of Gobbo? <laughs> this is so hecking cool. So uh, th there was options to get it um, punted, but I kind of liked the white. It honestly should be a little yellow. It should be a little cigarette oh, for, yellow. Yeah, for the cigarette. It is a old desktop PC of a bygone era where I used to play Age of Empires 2 and The Sims 1. Not only does that look so sick and nostalgic for me, but these drawers are actually functional where you can put in Switch games into here. And then in this one, you can keep your Joy-Cons. Uh, I wonder what that drawer was for. That's cute. My guy? I uh, knocked it out the park this episode. I'm not gonna lie, I kinda want one of these. <laughs> you can have it. Dude, it actually like looks like a little monitor here. Yeah, I like that a lot actually. Oh, this episode, yeah, man. Yeah. Might be the best one we've ever done. I I'm like not even that. kidding. Yeah, honestly, this has kind of all been home runs. That's what's so insane is that we've been doing these videos now for like, what, six years? People's creativity never seems to run dry. I know. That's really cool. It makes me want to start playing a game. It makes me want to load up another crab's treasure right here and just start playing. I'm gonna put like this, this off to the side yeah. next to my beat em up shaker cup that you give 10% off. You go beat em up. And it's the last day. 24 more hours and then never again. All right, next. What do you think's in here? I have no idea. I forgot about the computer. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Admittedly, a little basic compared to everything else. I just really liked the design and the fact that it was like a skull type texture. Put a cactus next to this? Yeah, I, that's, yeah, that's it's got- That's cute. Well, actually, you know what? Do you what? have a cactus? Hold on. I you don't have know. a little tiny plant over there, get it. Your setup, if you keep it nice and clean and minimalistic, there's nothing else out but just these little guys right here. That's nice. Mm. All right, my turn. How many you got over there? Quite a few, I bought uh, a I bought a lot I for this video. I only have one left over here. I did actually want to go out with a bang, so I bought a lot of stuff. Oh, this guy had a couple of these kinds of things on his store. I wanted all of it. I'm not realizing I bought a lot of things for this video that hold Switch games. Oh, it's so pretty. It's cool and it smells nice. Oh, it does. This just looks like a heart container from Zelda. It's so well crafted. It's so pretty. The other one was green. I just, I can't. Oh, it was a stamina. There was a heart one and there was a stamina one. All right, next. <laughs> what you got there, Kim? <laughs> let me open it up and I'll let you know. Imagine if the channel was like that. Or how it used to be when I started my channel. <clears throat> All right, mate, get a Siggy at the servo. I went to Game Traders and I got uh, the XCOM for Xbox 360. Then I got... Oh. Usually I get one cool Switch dock per episode. And I thought it was this. I forgot that I also got this. A big complaint I have with a lot of Etsy stuff is it's always 3D printed and often it looks fake. They did such a good job on this. This looks like something you would have bought at the Nintendo store. It looks almost real. It looks almost like licensed. Where so the dock goes in here. If you're buying this, it has to be for the original dock. Yeah. You grab some games. I can't get them. I kept trying to grab it and I was moving it down. at the same time and it was popping back in as I was trying to get it. And you put that on top. It's actually kind of cool too because you can hide your Switch games. That's cute. It's so cool. That would look sick next to a TV. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Next to... <laughs> I hate doing that. On that camera, you get it. But then you cut back here and it looks yeah. like I'm like, don't look at my wife. This is so really cool. Cute. This isn't so much a weird accessory as it is a really cool accessory that I wanted to call attention to. If for whatever reason, you can't use both hands to play games, this thing is really cool. I mean, it gives you access to everything with one hand. I think this is probably the most innovative thing you've bought. It's very sturdy as well. I didn't expect these buttons in here to have a click and a give oh, to do? them. Yeah, give it a shot. Whoa. It actually feels like you're clicking the they button. Click. I want to stress yeah. the title is weird accessories. I don't think this is weird. No, this is for This is awesome. This is and I. I wanted to highlight it. Very often I see gamers with disabilities that want ways of playing the games with one hand or they're asking for the best. This was a little expensive, but- It's functional, which is 
the important thing. So I'm using the one-handed controller and I just wiped out a whole goblin camp with one hand first try. It was a little clunky, mostly just trying to get my head around my pinky needing to turn the camera for me. But other than that, it, it was pretty intuitive for even a moment there, just a few seconds into trying it. I guess my brain just adapted pretty quickly, but I'm really impressed with how well this works. Like, yeah, you can play any game with one hand. This is really cool. You have no idea what's about to happen. You can get this in a ton of different designs because obviously Samus adons different suits. I don't think they cut the notch out for the stand that's yeah, supposed to be there. It's supposed to be a, a thing in there. Well, I can't display it, but that doesn't matter because I'm going to be playing with it. That's pretty cool. It's a remote control bowl. I didn't know these bowl things existed, by the way. And I actually had no idea how big this Samus bowl was going to be. And this, you can't even buy that anymore. I had to buy it secondhand for like $200. This is the only one you can buy right now. It's the mini. I went to open it and I was like, there's no way it's that. I bought the bigger one too. And now we're stuck with that guy. Maybe we should have opened it first because that was a nightmare and I think it's dead. We're gonna leave it right here on charge. Okay, it's been a long while since we stopped filming. I left this thing on charge for forever and it's finally on. Touch and drag to drive. <laughs> Look at him go, this thing is sick. Yo, I can make it like skid out. <laughs> Let's put it in this. Dude. Thankfully, it's pretty sturdy. It is a little harder to control inside this thing. Oh, okay. I need a bigger playing field, I think. Okay, let's see how much dollar hates me. <laughs> Dala, can you give that a shove for me, please? I mean, I gotta be honest, in the 3D printed shell, it is having a very hard time. It is cool when it works, but it can't turn very good. It's very clunky. And when it gets stuck at a standstill, it's kind of hard to get it moving again. And then like, I, it's like stuck again. I know you can't see because there's a big black dog in the way. Dala, you're making this very hard for me. So this just showed up. I didn't buy this. Oh, the guy sent it to you. Oh, is it like your yes, colors? Yes, it's me. It's my colors. Aww. This just showed up. I, are you sure there's no note? I, I, I assumed there was going to be a note. Well, this is, is from it's... Koala Verde. We opened these already. And they're awesome. They're made to look like the uh, Tears of the Kingdom ones, obviously. And then he just sent me one that was beat em ups colored. That's so cute. Which is really cool. Thank you so much. And I thing other than this which was supposed to be in the scott the was video it's just like a joy con drumstick thing it looks like a canoe paddle it looks like it would pair nicely with our dune bucket <laughs> other than that no, um wait you have one yeah <gasps> i found another one man they just keep coming out of nowhere something oh boy howdy oh, that makes a nice noise did i buy a lot of and it's shiny oh this is good this is very good. The idea to get this was off the back of how satisfying those guys are. You can put them all into this Ferris wheel type thing and then you just give it a, s oh, now it's all off kilter. Mm -hmm. You have, have to, to fill it. You have to fill it. But yeah, then you just rotate it like that to find a game. This also came in a bunch of different colors and I got this like, uh, magenta type, uh, I don't know what you call that. Oil slick. Yeah, 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 that's what I said. It just keeps going. When will it end? It sounds like someone going. Oh, and then this, this was the last thing. This is actually kind of neat. I wouldn't wear it because I'm not a dweeb. Oh no. How'd you get down here? Put your switch in there and then you put your belt through it and then you put your belt back on. For the sake of this, I'm just gonna go like this. And then you switch. It's right there with you. There is actually a very convenient way of storing yeah. it. I'm not gonna lie. I know. It's almost like I'm ready like this. If you had two, if you had one on each side. Ready to game. And yeah, that's that. I think it's cool. Okay, that's everything. Did you have a favorite? I feel like. Really? That? These two. Oh, the computer. Go yeah. As a set. I'll leave links for everything down below as always. I'm not kidding. This is probably the last one of these we're going to do. You guys got to get creative and make fun new things for me to look at with the Switch 2. The crazier, the better. I will buy it. I will give you money and put it in a video. <laughs>
The weirder, the better. Which one was your favorite? I don't oh, remember any of them. It's not even a competition. The Animal Crossing dock, because I have it in my office dock, oh, and the little figurines yeah. from GameStop are the right size. I do remember the first the one. The first one, yeah. Had the drink cup, I which... think the first one was my favorite, just because... That's really what started yeah. everything, was that little drink cup and how weird it was. Yeah. All right, guys. Thanks so much for watching all of these when, when we have done them. And I hope you will continue to watch them and this channel. See you guys next time.